Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tuesday edition of Video Clips. And I'll just go through a bunch of announcement, announcements really quickly. And you can email me if you want more information about any of these things. First of all, I am uh, conducting a boot camp on irritable bowel, IBS. So many people have this. We have a long course on it, but we also, I'm going to do a boot camp, a one evening um, uh, workshop. So many people have this, people think that they have it and they don't have it. And what's really worst of all is if you do have it, you probably tried a whole lot of things that don't work. And we're gonna talk about what doesn't work and why and what does work and why to help the, with this problem. Um, every fall, I offer Optimal Life and Health with Pam, which is a weekend boot camp, Friday, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, all virtual. All this stuff is virtual. You don't have to come to Columbus for it, although there are a couple of things I'm going to talk about that you do. But in any case, um, if you're interested in that, um, it, it covers everything from how to organize yourself to take care of yourself, which you have to do. I mean, people tell me all the time, I don't have time to do this, I need to do it, I think I'm gonna exercise, then I don't, and I don't have time to eat the right foods, and I end up just at the last minute doing default type stuff. Well, to get out of that pattern, we're gonna talk about how to do it, and then what to do, and covering supplements, and, and um, just sleep, and all kinds of things that go into being a healthy person. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, if you are interested in attending our conference every fall, uh, November 11th through 13 this year, we have a live conference, wonderful healthy food, people speaking on everything from mental health to musculoskeletal health to um, all, all kinds of topics. But uh, if you buy an in-person ticket, I'm doing a deep dive into this long COVID issue, and I'm going to present a workshop on that. Buy an in-person ticket, you get to take that class for free. That one's virtual. And then um, if you do live in driving distance of Columbus, um, we're offering two free months of yoga if you take your first class between now and October 31st. Um, our cooking classes on Tuesday night are back. Uh, so we have some really great ones coming up. And then uh, a wine and dine with special guest, uh, celebrity chef Del Shrove on September 30th. So you could come to our yin yoga on Friday night, um, happy hour with healthy people is Friday night's yoga class, and then walk down the hallway and do um, wine and dine with Celebrity Chef Del. Great menu, great fellowship. So anyway, that's my list of stuff. So today I wanna to talk about animals, partly because I love animals. I still miss my little Schroeder a lot, of course. And because I know a lot of you are animals, uh, animal lovers, and you know that animals have emotions that are very similar to humans. I know that this was really true of Schroeder. He was clearly happy to see me when I came home. He'd hear the garage door and he'd be waiting at the back door for me. He demonstrated a lot of love and understanding, more as he got older, actually, until just a few months before he died. He was active, playing with toys, busy watching what was going on outside, following the sun to the different spots in the house where he could sunbathe and so on. And he was really demanding. He let me know when he wanted to be picked up. He taught me that he was left pawed, so he wanted to be picked up in a particular kind of way. And he meowed as loudly as needed when he wanted treats or he wanted to be picked up. And some of you heard him doing that on the videos or took part in classes where I had to like get up and leave the class to go get Schroeder to bring him in the office with me. However, when I wasn't feeling well, I had the flu three times during the 19 years we lived together, or I was super tired, he would completely change his behavior. He'd settle down, he'd lay beside me instead of on me. He'd ask for nothing, and he recognized people. He was glad to see familiar people when they visited the house. He loved his friends, and he was really close and loved his nanny very much, the woman who took care of him when I traveled. In fact, the day he died, he waited until she got here before he, uh, before he died. I think he knew she was coming, and he wanted to see her one last time. Well, I'm sure you've had similar experiences with your furry friends. And um, new research shows uh, and offers some scientific proof that animals do have emotions and you can even measure them. Um, for example, dogs actually, you know, their tears, their eyes well up with tears of joy when they're reunited with their owners. So interest in this area of research started with an observation. Uh, Takafumi Kikisui, and I hope I didn't butcher that too much, um, his standard poodle had just had pups, and he noticed that the dog had tears in her eyes while nursing the pups. Well, oxytocin is a maternal hormone that increases during lactation, 
and he thought that higher oxytocin levels could be related to increased tear production. Well, Kiksui had previously been involved in some research showing that when pets look into their owner's eyes, the same hormone response that bonds baby humans to their mothers is also triggered in the animals. The researchers found that both dogs and their humans had an increase in oxytocin levels and the effect was dose dependent. The more time spent making eye contact, the higher the oxytocin levels, which brings us to a new study. Researchers, including Kikasui, separated dogs from their humans for several hours and then brought them back together. And within just five to seven minutes later, they measured how teary the eyes dogs had become and then compared uh, tear production when the dogs were separated from an acquaintance and then reunited with that acquaintance uh, who was not their primary human companion. Tear production was significantly higher when the dogs were reunited with their human parent than an acquaintance. So it wasn't just human interaction, it was specifically a particular human, right? And increased oxytocin was involved. In other words, just like dogs, uh, just like humans, dogs produce tears of joy. Well, according to Lori Kogan, a psychologist at Colorado State University, this might mean, I think it does mean, <laughs> we've all seen it, there aren't really hard lines between humans and animals. Humans may not be as unique as we thought, and animals are a lot smarter and more sensitive than many people think that they are. You know, when I was a kid, my family rescued animals. My mother had a soft spot for cats and she was always, the, even veterinarians would call her and say they rescued a cat. They knew they could always count on her to take the, the pet, uh, take them in as a pet. And I've been a pet parent almost my entire adult life. And um, I think we've all noticed these uh, very deep um, emotional connections with animals. And, and uh, I know that there are times when I prefer animal companionship over humans. They're often a whole lot more loyal, compassionate, and loving than many humans. And I don't think there are many animals that have been well-treated, abused animals a little bit different, but most animals who've been well-treated would be incapable of doing some of the things that we see some humans doing to other humans these days. So anyway, um, it's interesting that um, research can document uh, the physical effect that um, happens when animals are with their pet parents. And by the way, in the article about this, they call them owners. I don't like to call humans owners of pets. We're parents to pets or companions to pets. That's a much more accurate term um, rather than property. Animals aren't property. They're companions. They're our roommates and our, um, and our best friends. So anyway, I thought that since so many of you who watch this are animal lovers, you would enjoy hearing about that. So, as usual, pass this on to anybody else who you think would enjoy watching it. I'll be back to you tomorrow with more news.